Hi ladies, I am going to be doing this video to tie in with the earlier video that I did um, a close shot of all the jade jewelry well not all part of the jade jewelry that I have so to kick off the video I forgot to include these in as well so this is actually a pinkish lavender modern cut jewelry it's in the shape of a gold coin it's one of the most favored chinese designs because it's supposed to resemble the gold coin so i'm actually pairing this together with my rose colored jade i do not know whether the camera can pick it out i've got two rose colored jade stones one of them is this which is sort of a milky rose and the other one is more clearer almost jedi quality which is rosy and lavender i got these from hong kong previously when i was running a boutique i still had to travel back and forth to get my um, stock for the shop and then at the same time i my one of my favorite haunts was the jade jewelry market there Um, jade, yes, of course, um, if you can get it from the jewelry stores, it's authenticated, it's safe for you. But it's safe to say as well that um, I love to go to the um, jewelry, uh, jade jewelry market in Hong Kong. It's sort of like, it's not only more affordable, if you are very well versed with jade, you would know how to pick out and you would know how to authenticate and differentiate between the fake and the genuine jades. Because it's more affordable, it's just a law of uh, needs and wants. Because like for instance, these dealers, everyone has to start someplace right whatever business it is you have to start small someplace you can't just immediately have tons of money to open a big jewelry store so for example these dealers small time dealers what they'll do is they'll go to burma or china wherever that their source is and then their source as well are those smaller dealers who are starting out small and then they get these small quantities and i actually prefer these small de dealers because they will actually take time if they're getting from small um, merchants who sell them they are more likely to get more beautiful pieces in my opinion because it's not mass produced and then people are more in my opinion are they are more likely to put more love and <laughs> care and attention into carving out the jade um, pendants or bangles or whatever it is because it's a labor of love it's not mass produced yet it's not like very very business orientated so if you know how to choose the genuine from the fake that's where i think i would usually go to anyway to cut the story short so this is the first look that i'm showing you i would like to promote jade more so that the younger generation cannot view it just as a you know mom's or auntie's or grandma's jewelry and it's very old-fashioned because you should invest in jade now because before it really it's already skyrocketed so whatever in whatever that i've invested in for example like I only spent like maybe US 200 to 400 dollars now has gone up in value to nearly US 2000 dollars in just a matter of five or six years for instance and the earlier pieces are going to be much much more valuable because the earlier pieces like those pieces from my mom's generation they didn't know how to make fake jade that time so it's all genuine it's just a matter of the grades of jade whether you get you know the higher quality grade or the lower quality grade as long as you are in the jade market as long as you're buying grade a quality you look for the there are three colors as well there are the three main c's when you come when it comes to jade which is clarity 
color and then um what's the the next c i can't remember clarity color and then um the clink sound when you clink on it is like got a high tinky sound when you clink on to for instance when you have a cup of water and you go you see it's a high tink sound like that you get what i mean so this is the first outfit that you can match it with it's a modern like a shift dress kind of thing with pink print i've matched it with since i'm talking about accessories <laughs> i can't stop showing off my heaven accessories as well right so this is my rhinestone ones okay it's rhinestone with ribbons i sold this at my boutique okay i sold this dress as my, at my boutique as well it's got actually like little pearl seeds on it the church but since we are doing a video on um, jade i just wanted to show you how you can wear jade in a modern way so okay and then um i'm before i go down to the next look i've got two pieces of clothing to show you yes i know we are concentrating on jade but i'm gonna, just going to be explaining it to you because i can't just say i'm wearing a ysl skirt and then you will say how do we know whether she's telling the truth whether it's a real ysl skirt well here it is okay it is a ysl vintage skirt in wool and look at the color i know i said i'm i don't usually spend my money on branded items but when it comes to a good investment like this i couldn't pass it up it's part of my dream to own anything designed by him to me he is like the designer that i look up to he made clothing so feminine so elegant so unattainable <laughs> so gorgeous so this is to me it's like a piece of history i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to be wearing my jade accessories with this i'm going to be pairing it with a very classic vintage since we're talking about vintage but the colors you see it still pops you know it's got pockets you know can you imagine it's got pockets and look at the way they sew the inside of the zip the zip is actually hidden away so it's not ugly when you zip it and look at the way they sew this bit you know the cut at the back this is a piece of art this is a piece of art okay so i think jade jade actually is older than diamonds it goes before christ before bc you know <laughs> the empress <laughs> wore them is a stone of heaven it's part of my culture because my dad is chinese my mom is korean i've got this gorgeous gorgeous can you see it it is a valentino i don't know whether you can see and i'm quite blind and i'm too vain to wear specs valentino room it says it says it's an m so i'm gonna be wearing this together with my emerald jade i think this would go well together either that or perhaps this one since the color is black i don't know i'm just going to be showing you a few examples so that you can see you can wear modern clothing with jade okay okay ladies so i've got on my silk blouse together with the ysl skirt and then i have decided because the skirt is with such a pop of color i have worn it together with my um i don't know whether you can see it it's sort of like a shimmery pearly beaded um hairband <sighs> i don't know why the con camera is concentrating on the wrong thing instead of the accessories concentrating on my face okay and then i have decided to match it with this gorgeous jade which i showed you earlier in the video it's got all these modern knots and this carved fish in a beautiful beautiful creamy milky 
um, brown and cream color so I'm going to be wearing this outfit and if memory serves me correctly YSL was very very intrigued by the East he was the first one to bring in elements of the East through his opium perfume it was groundbreaking it made tons of money I saw a documentary on it and then he had you know Jerry Hall um, who was the model for the opium perfume and all that so I can say that a lot of designers have been inspired by the chinoiserie aspect of it and even some of them did um, use jade jewelry for some of their advertisements if I can remember correctly a few years back I swear Ralph Lauren did a few advertisements using jade jewelry So this is one of the ways that I can imagine wearing my jade pendant together with the office wear which is not too over the top. Um, it's elegant and then if you've got such a statement piece necklace like this I wouldn't advise wearing any more other jewelry like earrings or whatever because it's already quite a bit of a <laughs> statement with your outfit okay ladies the next one i have is the valentino dress i after this video i need to mop my floor and take in the laundry because i usually do the laundry change the bed sheets every saturday i do my own housework that's how i save my money i don't have anyone to come and clean it for me um so that i can buy clothing and accessories that's about all that i spend my money on so because i'm a working girl so i'm wearing my jade bangle my most frequent one of my most frequently um, used jade bangle which is the classic green jade now green is always a favorite color because to the chinese or for obvious reasons to anyone who knows green means you know signifies growth and then after that um i've decided to wear it with this pendant which i showed you earlier on it's got some carvings on it irrespective of the carvings i like the shape of it because it's not too chunky it is like like thick to the touch not too thin but i mean it wouldn't break my neck when i wear it so when i have something simple like this office wear i will take it out and wear it it looks very still looks very corporate the only accessories i'm going to be wearing is my bangle and my pendant no earrings okay because it will be too much and you wouldn't look elegant so this is one way that i can wear jade with my office wear it's a simple office wear it's a simple valentino dress another simple jade piece that i would wear with this outfit is this which i showed earlier on as well which is the darker jade surrounded by the light translucent ice jade jade immediately calms you down it makes you feel better once you put it on i don't know how to explain it go and buy a genuine piece of jade it's i think it's akin to what people who are wearing crystals are saying you know that it certain crystals make you feel calmer certain crystals make you be able to think more clearly etc etc so jade falls into that category although jade is not a crystal it is a stone um a stone of heaven as it has been dubbed thousands of years ago it's part of our heritage it's a beautiful stone I hope that you appreciate it and I hope that you will give it a chance to come into your life. You start with just one piece just like I have. I mean I'm quite old now so I have taken decades to build up my collection. You go bit by bit. I mean you don't buy the most expensive just like myself. I'll see you in the next video. Any comments will be appreciated and welcome. Please be kind with your comments okay. Think about karma. Hi ladies, since today is another um, 
public holiday I decided to do this video as you can see I have on a very very floral fuchsia looking dress and I have been having this for quite some time this is a Laura Ashley dress so anyway I wanted to showcase this one of the pendants that I showed you earlier on this is the dark green jade that I was wearing very frequently before until the color changed to almost like an emerald green color so I've decided that this would be a perfect perfect dress to be wearing with this pendant because this dress apart from the floral design it's got some green stems and shoots and leaves on it so I think this pendant would go perfectly with this dress and I've also matched it with my emerald bracelet I'm so sorry you you can hear the sounds from outside I think they are doing one of the neighbors is doing some sort of renovation work ladies so this is the dress that I was talking about because um, it has got the chinoiserie aspect of it which I think will be the perfect foil for the beauty of this next piece that I'm going to be showing you I actually featured it earlier on in my video if you can remember this tassel looking jade so it's very special and then you can actually adjust the length of it as well by pulling onto it if you can see because the dress is navy blue so it is the perfect background for this white um, sort of like a lilac jade with tassels on it and with the infinity um, beading on it it's beautiful and I match it together with a matching color um, lilac jade the whole outfit has got lots of embroidery maybe if I go further back you can see the whole outfit so it's got all these embroidery on the dress and I think then the jade stands out and I have also decided to match it with my one of the most special crop bags I have in my collection which was my mom's this is actually a moss green dark green crop bag so that um, I know which areas to improve on please forgive me if the videos do not seem very well put together because I'm doing it myself I've never done this before I'm not a professional tacky in any way whatsoever so this is really a just a labor of love for me because I really want to share with you my love for fashion my love for J jewelry and other jewelries which I'll be showing to you in future your support would be much appreciated have a lovely week ahead and God bless